All right, guys. So here I am editing this LP. And for the third time now, it's my future self coming to you in a re-recording of this particular part of the game. And again, it didn't record. Uh, it just recorded a single image. I don't know why it's doing this. Um, I don't think it's done it in anything else that I've recorded. Um, just Max Payne. Um, so it's quite frustrating. Um, and I think uh, I've been thinking about it over the last couple of days, but I think I am going to do Max Payne 2 for 800. So when I hit 800, there will be Max Payne 2 coming. I'm probably going to start that fairly soon, so at least I can get it done and out of the way, because it is already decided. And I haven't got my 900 um, figured out yet. Uh, there's some options probably, but not got my 900 figured out. But my 1000 has been decided, um, and um, uh, when that comes, when you when that comes out, uh, you guys will see that. Anyway, let's unpause the emulator and continue. So I think this is the start of this particular um, part. And while this is going on, I'm actually going to go and get myself a drink. Woden was waiting for me on the steps of the old building. Mr. Payne, let's go inside. The others are anxious to begin. The others? Despite the general misconception, this building actually predates the city hall by two years, thus being the oldest municipal building still in use here at the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge. No kidding. The old man played tour guide as he led me through a dark, domed hall. The answers I was after loomed large ahead. Mr. Payne, I would like to introduce you to my colleagues in what we call the Inner Circle. You've been watching too much X-Files. You have seen the files on Project Valhalla. We can fill the gaps, provide you with the information missing from those files. We were all involved in the early stages of the project during the Gulf War. What's the catch? We would very much like to blow this thing wide open, but our hands are tied. Her name is Nicole Horn. She was the key figure in Project Valhalla. When the funding was discontinued, she simply refused to quit. She knew exactly what she had in her hands. Nicole Horn is the president of Acer Corporation. She has more than half the city in her pocket. This must be kept under wraps. If you try to go public with this, we will deny any knowledge. We need you to take her out. Afterwards, we can protect you. Make all the charges go away. That was the cue for the killer suits to kick in the doors and swarm inside. Ah! It was an impressive floor show, but I decided to leave early anyway. It was only a one-story floor. Lucky me. All right, we're here in this um, this part of the game. Um, I do like this le these levels. Um, they're again only going to be these levels in this. I've gone each section I've done in its own um, set of videos. I don't think I'm invincible at this point, so we will have a look. Nope, I am definitely not.
Got him. One of the monitors showed what was left of the inner circle. Is it when I go full screen that this, this having issues sometimes? Could well be. Miraculously waking from his well nap, looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I didn't know how he pulled it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too well to be a load of crap. Eat that bitch. So I've almost done editing this um, LP. Um, I just need to sort out the rest of the videos. And the fact that they just don't want to work is really annoying. Really annoying. <laughs> and what is your answer to those saying that he is actually providing a service long overdue to the city? This crusade nonsense has gone too far. He's out of control. It must stop. He will be stopped. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the New York City Police Department. I think it's time to get the commando out. A videotape lay on the desk. Nicole Horn had blackmailed the inner circle into silence. The tape came with a curt extortion note on a piece of expensive paper. I remembered Candy Dawn taping her clients in action on the side, selling the tapes to the highest bidder. I was sure that kinky sex was nowhere near Alfred Woden's worst sin. But I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in handy. Woden had left me a present. Woden had taken care of my mission preps with military precision. The critical areas in the Acer Corporation headquarters blueprints were circled in red. The president's office was at the top of the building, right below her penthouse suite. 
The elevators were controlled by a security computer, part of the mainframe located underground below the building. The high-rise was sealed as tight as a sci-fi fortress. Leave your fucking uh, things on like that. You waste it. So he's left us some quite uh, nice uh, information to help us in our mission to take out um, Mrs. Horn. So this is my this is my 700 subscriber special, and it's also uh, a tribute to James McAfee, who was the voice of Max, as well as being in thick play, uh, games like um, Adam Wake um, and oh, all the Max Payne's actually. Pausing really quickly in the video guys, Wrath Energy is a new type of energy drink that if you mix it in water and shake it, you get an amazing flavoured energy drink, all sorts of flavours, it's just powder that you put in water and shake it. All sorts of stuff on the website, merchandise, stickers, shakers of all colours and different uh, designs, really great. Recently I've just become a partner with them, if you go and use the code ClassicGamer all one word, all capitals, you'll get 10% off your orders. Thanks guys, back to the video. The best movie ending ever? Oh, gotta be Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. A hero's end, going out with guns blazing. Never heard of it, no? Okay, newer stuff then. The usual suspects, where Spacey walks out of the police station and suddenly loses his limb. Oh hey, Seven, where Brad Pitt gets to that head-sized, blood-soaked cardboard box. Now I know. Freaking zombie demons from outer space. Drowning in blood was cool. Oh, why do I even bother? Sometimes, honestly, I don't know. Some of these levels are so bloody short. It's crazy. It's crazy how short they actually are. I don't think we're that far away from the end of this now, actually. I had dreamed of revenge. Those dreams were always nightmares of coming close and then failing. Now I was close. I had a name to guide me, Nicole Horn. I had nothing to lose. <laughs> the inner circle had quite a track record.
Project Valhalla had not been the only thing the Inner Circle had been involved in. There were rows of cabinets full of files. The Serpentine Secret Society went back a long way, always pulling strings from the shadows. I couldn't say I was sorry. Woden's move in some Byzantine power game had cut the Circle's membership roster to one. The old man wanted me on cleanup duty. It was my mess, too. with a grenade, mate. The thing I do love about this game is that if you shoot the uh, fire extinguishers and they actually start doing that, they start um, emptying their contents. a little sound when it hits the floor. That's rather a nice little detail. I've never noticed that before. That's a nice little detail. And we're almost out. We're almost done with this level. Well, not this level, but the overall section of this game. CIA, FBI, you've seen one, you've seen them all. Sure, good for a practice run. But this, working for her. Oh, this is the real thing. The money's astronomical. And best of all, you get to kill any scumbag who gets in your way. License to kill. Like James Bond. So 
send me back up. Hang on a minute. Max Payne located. So this is where we were before when we started the devil. Uh, well, in the cutscene. And we're in this room where the rest of the inner circle got murdered. Um, you can see them all here, all dead. So, and then this is going to be the uh, the final part of this. Take him down. Shoot to kill. Let's finish this. Yes, let's finish this. One down, two to go. Two down, one to go. I'm gonna, I think this is where we're going to be able to go out and do the last part. I don't know if or not I showed this in the start of the, next, the last video. So if I, if I do, then I'll cut this bit out. But let's do this final part. I'll go straight into the next level. All right, well, I think that might be all right. Mine wasn't the most original approach to the problem. It wasn't as if it hadn't all been done before. An eye for an eye, the first principle of revenge. Old as dirt, still going strong. The cardinal rule in going after someone with an intention to kill was not to make it personal, which it almost always ended up being anyway. It did with me. I took my time cruising around the... Okay, I think this bit has been... All, I, I've already done this bit. So I'm going to leave it here, guys. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you... I'll pass you, self, buff you over to my uh, past self again. Um, and uh, leave you in his capable hands of uh, finishing up this LP. Thanks for 700 subscribers, guys. It really means a lot to me. And I'll see you next time. Ciao, guys.